Now, California Democrat Congressman Adam Schiff is joining us now. He is joining us from Zoom right now, an interview that we wanted to go ahead and get set up. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Now, you led the first impeachment trial of President Trump, so former President Trump. So what is your reaction to today's indictment? A sobering moment uh, in our history. It's unprecedented that a former president would be, uh, you know, eventually arrested for criminal charges. But if the grand jury in Manhattan believed there was probable cause they had committed a crime, and clearly they did, uh, and the Manhattan DA believes they can prove it beyond reasonable doubt, uh, he should be charged uh, like anybody else. There has to be one standard of the rule of law. It has to be applied equally to everyone. Uh, and so I think this is, uh, you know, an important affirmation of uh, the justice system that uh, that it applies to everyone. No one gets a pass. No one should get special treatment. Uh, and indeed, holding those who hold power accountable is extremely important. Of course, uh, President Trump has said this is a witch hunt. It is political. And uh, some say that this news today is only going to unite his supporters even more. How do you react to that? Well, he calls every action against them a witch hunt, so this is merely part of his go-to vocabulary, his go-to response uh, whenever he feels aggrieved. Uh, I don't know how this cuts politically. I don't think that really ought to be how this is measured. Uh, I think this is most important uh, in terms of the rule of law and following the evidence wherever it leads. That's what prosecutors are committed to doing. Uh, and if it leads to Donald Trump, it leads to Donald Trump. And I think you make the decision based on well, if someone else were in the same position, we would charge them, and so we're going to charge him. But uh, I really don't know how this will cut politically. Uh, I think the most important thing is that, um, that there be accountability. And I, in, in particular, in his case, we have seen time after time when he escapes accountability, he goes on to commit even worse abuses of power. So there's a lot riding on what Manhattan uh, is doing right now. All right, Congressman Adam Schiff, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And so people are reacting to, how are people reacting to today's historic and an indictment? We knew that there would be several sides coming out to talk about this. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is live at the state capitol talking with people. Ashley? Hey guys, well, of course, the announcement of Trump's criminal indictment came down very quickly today, almost as a surprise. You know, we knew that this was coming for some time now, but the grand jury's decision to vote on criminal charges for former President Donald Trump came down very quickly today. Of course, this is news that we are just now kind of learning and asking people how they're reacting to. But last week, when we first reported to you that President Trump was first anticipating his own arrest, we saw in large cities all across the country, New York, L.A., our nation's capital, sort of a bracing for backlash. And that, of course, came as President Trump took to his own social media platforms and asked people to protest in the streets, of course, his own indictment and future arrests. Now, we're here at the Sacramento State Capitol. We're not seeing anything. It's quiet, calm, business as usual. We're seeing tourists. We're seeing people just walking through the park. A very quiet scene. Now, I did just get off a call with Doug Almitz. He's a registered Republican who worked under the Reagan administration on multiple Republican campaigns. He tells me he hopes that the Republican Party is able to move forward from this and that a Trump indictment actually doesn't help him, even though, as we have already seen in Trump's online postings, it seems he does want to use this indictment to rally his faithful supporters around him. Trump has called his supporters to protest his, indi his indictment and arrest, but Elmitz is telling us he hopes that all stays, stays calm across the country. I would hope that um, people who support Donald Trump would allow the legal process to work away. The, if he is innocent, the legal process will vindicate him. But to take to the streets only creates more havoc and more problems for Donald Trump. And again, it's calm, a nice sunny day, quiet here at the California State Capitol. We did speak to CHP's Capitol Division, who told us that they're not anticipating anything happening here at the Capitol, but at all times they are ready to respond and call for backup if the need be.
But meantime, things remaining peaceful there right now. Ashley, thank you for that live report outside the Capitol. And of course, as we know, this is not the only current investigation of former President Trump. There's an ongoing grand jury on the January 6th Capitol insurrection, also, an ongoing grand jury on his handling of classified documents. And there's also that special grand jury that just finished in Fulton County, Georgia, investigating the former president's conduct after the 2020 presidential election.